Hi, I'd like to walk you through the EHP 700L uh, hydraulic battery pump from Greenlee Utility uh, and go through a couple of the innovative features that we've incorporated into this product. It's extremely powerful. 10,000 PSI maximum uh, level of, of pressure is applied to every cycle that is uh, brought forth from the powerful pump that we have inside of it. It's also extremely lightweight. Coming in at about 14 pounds, it's one of the lightest hydraulic units on the market. It also incorporates a tremendous amount of intelligence from the perspective that it allows uh, the users in the industry to, to crimp, cut, and punch, and to a certain degree, bend material, um, all with this one unit. And each one of those applications have a specific pressure sensor that, that is applied by this product. To power the EHP 700, we use 18 volt lithium ion 3.8 amp hour batteries. The product actually runs off of one of these batteries in the right position here on the product. The second battery is merely a storage position for uh, elongated uh, time out on the job site. You may need that second battery uh, as you uh, perform uh, regular cuts, crimps, uh, or punching activities. Along with some of the features that are associated with this product is that it comes with a built-in funnel that is incorporated on the side of the product. And as you replace or remove hoses that are going to be applied to your remote heads, uh, it would make it very convenient with this built-in funnel to top off your oil uh, as, as needed uh, throughout the lifetime of the product. We've also incorporated a corded remote control uh, in addition to the, uh, to the power switching uh, forward and backward applications on top of the unit itself. So we're the only uh, unit in the industry that has a remote and a location to run the product uh, directly on the, pr on the unit. We've also incorporated a manual release for the situation that if you ran out of batteries during the middle of a cut, crimp, or punch, that you could manually release that product and the head would retract from your remote, uh, remote, power, remote uh, tool. One of the other things that we wanted to incorporate on this is a little bit of usability with the fitting as, it is, as, it, as we've incorporated this swiveling head uh, to help the users or help our, you know, the alignment or the electrician that may be out there on the job to get into tight places without really making it difficult uh, with, the, with the use of the hose that's being put into, put into use there. Again, the innovative features that we brought forward with this product is that powerful nature, the 10,000 PSI uh, level for every cycle, the lightweight uh, advantage that we have with 14 pounds of total weight with the batteries included and then the intelligence that's built into the uh, diagnostics or the dashboard so to speak from the, the front of the unit here. And next we're going to go through some actual uh, applications to show you the intelligence that we've built into the product. Now we're going to walk through the dashboard or display on the EHP 700 from Greenlee. Um, as you can see there are seven different positions on the dashboard uh, as you see right here. Number one is for crimping, two is for cutting, three is for punching, four are reserve positions, and seven is the diagnostics check. So as we'll start off here with, with the crimping, uh, crimping allocation or crimping designation in uh, selection one, you'll see that it gives a full readout and, and uh, ge graphic description of what's happening here, featuring our auto, re auto retract our manual retract and our uh, manual retract repeat features that we incorporate into the IntelliCrimp system associated with the, with the crimping position. Moving on to the second position, which is associated with our cutting applications, you can see that it gives again a uh, graphic uh, readout for what you're doing in terms of the scissors, scissor style cutting uh, remote heads that could be used with this application. It also features the automatic retraction as soon as the uh, cut is uh, complete. Moving on to the third position, which is reserved for uh, punching applications, you'll see that it incorporates what we talked about a little bit earlier with the auto stop feature. The fourth, fifth, and sixth positions on the uh, dashboard uh, are reserved for future applications that we may be coming up with or may be customer specific in some cases. So as this, as this product uh, continues to evolve and the intelligence is, is increased, we will be able to 
uh, automatically uh, download some of that information into the uh, unit itself. The seventh position is a diagnostics check for the, for the product. As you can see, there's a battery level here and a battery level here. And they both correspond to the two batteries that sit on the back of the EHP700L. It also uh, is, has a complete history of a readout associated with the product. And I'll walk through these in a little bit more detail. The T is allocated for the total time that this product has been running. So that's the total number of hours that the product has been uh, put into use. Q actually reads the pull from the amperage associated with the batteries. So it not only has uh, a readout from the batteries, but it also has a readout from the pressure sensor. And that's what the final, the final N is representing. That is the number of full pressure crimps, cuts, or uh, punches that you've done with this machine. And then again, uh, since that was the odometer, the total number of, of, uh, of uh, applications that have been performed with this product, you can also have a reset button that's associated with the EHP700L. So since reset, like we said, the total time that it's been running, it also has the amperage that has been reset, and then the total number of, of full pressure cr or crimps, cuts, or punches that have been performed since its last reset. Moving on, uh, also has an indication of the firmware and the serial number that are associated with this independent unit. So when it's time to upgrade the, uh, the intelligence of this product, we know exactly what to do and how to do it and which product we're performing that, uh, that activity on. All right, now we've actually hooked up a live crimping situation here, and I've actually used blank dies to simulate the crimp uh, that we would be using on a connector. So one of the things I'm going to walk through here is the intelligence that's associated with this pump and the IntelliCrimp system that is, that is involved in, in, the, um, in the programming of the product. So to start off with, I'm going to run the uh, crimping head all the way to full pressure, and then you'll hear it pop. You'll hear it hit the 10,000 PSI mark, signaling that a good crimp or, or a proper crimp has been performed. So we'll do that right now. And as we uh, completed that crimp, the retraction head, the RAM automatically uh, retracted, and I stopped it manually with the remote control here. And the reason why I'm doing that is it's going to save time, it's going to save uh, battery power as well. So what we're going to do going forward, I'm going to show you some of the, also, the, the other intelligence that's built in with the IntelliCrimp system, is I'm going to teach this product how to start and stop at the same point every time. So, I'm going to start up the RAM, I'm going to push forward on the remote control, and I'm going to keep pushing forward all the way through the crimp until the RAM stops. As you can see, the, the, uh, the power unit itself actually stopped the RAM from, going, from retracting all the way, so it's ready for your next crimp. And it's all achieved through the uh, pressure sensor that's built into this product. So as you see here, you'll be able to monitor exe with, exact, uh, with exact definition as to how much pressure is being applied to the crimp itself. So that's one of the things we're gonna, we're gonna witness here. The other is the fact that this pump has the intelligence to stop mid crimp and keep the, the force applied uh, to the connector if you would ever need that, to, need that to happen. But again, it shows the intelligence of the product. It shows that it monitors in real time how much force is being applied to that crimp. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. I'm going to run it up to about 3,000 PSI. I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to finish out the crimp all the way through 10,000 PSI. So there you can see that we've got 3,500 pounds of, of force being applied to the crimping head and <clears throat> it's holding its, its pressure as well. So as of right now, I'm going to finish off the cycle and go all the way through 10,000 PSI. Mm -hmm. 
So aside from the visual evidence on the dashboard that the 10,000 PSI level has been met, the IntelliCrimp system also features uh, the same warning system that all of our other crimping uh, products uh, uh, have as well. So as you can see here, I'm going to demonstrate the, the two different fault systems that are associated with the IntelliCrimp system. The first one is a manual error. So basically, uh, to describe that, it would, be to the it would be to the point where you initiate a crimp and then you manually back off uh, if, if there were any type of reason why that would need to happen. Um, so what you're going to see here is you're going to see our bi-directional LED light up. It's going to beep once and then it's also going to flash a red light that, that uh, signifies that there was an incorrect crimp uh, performed. So I'm going to do that right now. So I stopped it in the middle of the crimp and now I'm going to back it off and that should trigger our, our fault. So there you go, that was the first signal and that's a manual error uh, as the pump recognized. So now I'm going to run through a machine error just in case and I'm going to simulate this because of course the pump is functioning just fine. So I'm going to simulate this by running it through the crimp and then pushing the manual release as it's running through the crimp itself and that should trigger our internal uh, 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 our internal problem with the pump. So there you can see that uh, it alerted us that something was wrong with the pump. It did not reach its 10,000 PSI and uh, something you should actually have that taken into a service uh, a service location or talk to the Greenlee uh, technicians uh, as, it, as it relates to fixing the problem with the pump. So in that case it was simulated um, but again intelligent crimp system uh, working with you to help you make sure that your job is done correctly. So now we're going to try a test of sort. We have some 3000 MCM uh, that, we've, uh, that we found in the tool shop here and we're going to try to make a cut with the EHP 700 uh, in addition with our SDK 105. So here we go, we're going to give it a shot, see how it does. And we were successful. We reached 6,400 pounds of pressure, which is not even close to the capability of the EHP 700L. All right, now we're going to move from the cutting position over to the punching position. Uh, and we're going to demonstrate the punching application with the EHP 700 uh, on a 10-gauge uh, piece of stainless steel uh, incorporating a 2-inch knockout. Now, when we get through the, uh, the material, you're going to notice that the EHP 700 turns off automatically. And it does that through the pressure sensor that's built into, the, into the, the tool itself. So as soon as you see the punch move through the material, you'll notice that there's a series of, of loud pings. And at that point, the EHP 700 will shut off and basically protect the punch from burying itself inside the die. So we're going to try that out. and and uh, basically knock a hole, a two inch hole in 10 gauge stainless steel. So you'll notice that basically as soon as it popped through, the pump shut itself off. I didn't take my hand off of the trigger. Uh, and it prevented the punch from burying itself in the die. The new EHP 700L hydraulic battery pump from Greenlee Utility.